Everyone is doing their part to promote social distancing, including the court system. Joining us now, San Diego County District Attorney Summer Stephan. Summer, thanks for joining us once again. My pleasure. Good morning. Okay, a lot of folks hearing uh, the court hearings are still happening, but like with anything else, it's with the help of technology. Explain how you guys are doing this. Well, that's right. Technology has really come in in this unprecedented time to make sure that we can balance due process with the health of everybody. So uh, the jail, the sheriff has installed cameras and video conferencing in many rooms uh, that were previously not used. And these rooms become a place where the defendant can listen and hear and see the proceedings, hear and see the witnesses yeah. while they testify remotely so that we don't have too many people in the courtroom. We don't have the risk of infections, especially what we saw in Riverside, which is that the transport of a prisoner can be one of the highest risk times for both the inmate and the deputy sure. sheriff. So this is balancing everything out and um, it's tough, but we're doing it in San Diego. Local jails uh, also releasing some prisoners early to stop the spread within our jails. How are those prisoners chosen and should the community at large be concerned that they're letting people out? Well, we have to respond to the time that we're in. So we started early by installing a, a risk assessment that we already use for our bail proceedings. So it's something that's been tested as really assessing not how rich someone is or how poor, but what is their risk to the community? Mm. Looking at their current offense, what have they done? And then balancing that out in terms of what is a safer, there is no perfect solution, but with the help of the sheriff, the courts work 24 seven in San Diego to issue these orders case by case. And we've had a 20% reduction in the jail population, which is really um, an incredible thing because it allows them for social distancing, for quarantines and other things. And it, it really provides for health of the whole community. Sure, and we've been talking about this next topic here of the fact that whenever something horrible happens, there's people out there doing the price gouging, some people taking advantage of the pandemic. You guys know that this is happening, you're on them. How many of these people are we seeing right now? Because it's in the hundreds already of these cases that you're getting. Oh, it's a priority and we're up to about 280 cases that we are investigating. We've, uh, our team has gone out, our investigators, they've issued cease and desist orders and we're getting mostly compliance, but there is a hole in the law currently in that this law came about the price gouging in the 90s hmm. and it addressed businesses as they currently exist. It didn't address online businesses that are coming in to the gap in order to to not just fill the gap, but actually to, to just make money and be greedy. So we are working on adjusting the law through legislation to be able to hold everyone accountable. People who were in business and people who started a business just to price gouge. Sure, you mentioned cease and desist is the, the first step. What are some of the other consequences if people are not complying? Well, prosecution, and, and we are gathering that evidence for um, some of the real bad actors. I mean, you can't price gouge on prices for diapers, milk, water, toilet paper, things to stay clean and antiseptic. Um, I mean, the masks, that's unacceptable. And so the penalty can be up to six months in jail, and it, it can be a $5,000 fine and up to $10,000 wow. fines per incident. So it is a serious offense that carries serious, offense, serious consequences. Uh, I'm not sure if, because that's for actual stores, do you guys address also when the price gouging happens on online sales place like, like the Ebays of the world, Craigslist and offer up because a lot of things that are popping up there, you see the price gouging. And In that's exactly the gap that we were looking at because um, the law as it currently existed, it didn't address new businesses that pop up because the way the crime is committed is if you charge over 10% 
from the going price that you were charging before the pandemic. Uh, so how do you compare that when you have a new business? So thankfully, the governor uh, last week issued an emergency order as we're working on the new law that addressed that and allows us to hold those online actors accountable. Very good. Uh, this is why we need these new laws. We learn something and then we have to fix it. Uh, if you want to report the price gouging, this is important, Summer. We'll get this number and information out. The District Attorney's Consumer Protection Unit. Give them a call if you see somebody price gouging on something that they shouldn't be doing, especially during this time. There's the number, 619-531-3507. The website is on there as well. Our District, district Attorney, Summer Stephan, we thank you for the time as always. Thank you. Stay safe and healthy.